Hi there, Winnie here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw the baby from Stork's movie. So let's get started. With this baby, we're going to first start by drawing her hair. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve. And so this is one strand of hair. So we're going to come back up. And then bring another curve down. And I'm going to go up with a curve, come down, up again, and down one more time. And so from there, let's draw the other side. So this is where her hair parts. So now this strand is going to go this way. So there's, oh, sorry, not strand, just her hairline. So we're going to come here and draw a curve, comes in, and we're going to end about the same height on this side right here. And so from there, let's um, got her hairline in. So let's go and draw the big, big cute curve for her face. So I'm going to continue my curve down, straightening it out a tiny bit on both sides. So this baby's head's really big. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to draw a really big curve. So we're going to bring it around. this side. So just take it step by step when it's huge. Just makes it a little bit easier. And connect it. There. It's a little bit too straight, but it will, it will do for now. <laughs> so I just want this nice big curve for her, um, for her face. And so from there, let's finish off the hair first. So about right here where um, the hair parted right here, we're going to draw a curve that comes up and then a curve that comes down because that's where the hair parts. And so on this side, we're just going to bring it down. So it's pretty tapered to the head because um, it's a baby. Uh, the hair hasn't fully grown in yet, so there's not as much hair. So we're going to keep it nice and low and just bring it in. So same thing on this side, just going to go up and come down, start to come down. We're gonna come down to the same height on the other side. And bring it in. So there, we got the hair in. So you can come in here, just bring in some more details. And there, we got our hair in. So then from there, we know she has these big ears because they're babies, they have huge ears. <laughs> They're just bigger ears, it looks cuter. <laughs> so we're gonna come here and draw a big curve that comes out. Pop one out right there. So we know that one. So we're gonna come across. Give yourself a point so you know where the other curve. There. And so some details in the ear. Curve line, and then another curve. Just a simple way of drawing all the little folds inside the ear. And so there, finally, let's bring this baby to life. And so right here, we're gonna draw two huge circles, two big draws of cute eyes. So I'm gonna come here and draw two big circles towards the edge. So same thing on this side, towards the edge right here. And another one. So I gotta give this baby a big, big eyes. And so then from there, let's bring them to life. So two small, well, two bigger highlights, I guess. So two small circles, but a little bit bigger. And curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. So I'm so happy to finally be drawing a baby. You guys have been requesting a baby forever. <laughs> and it's so perfect now that this um, stork movie is coming out. And it has such a cute baby in it, so I figured I would um, get inspired, be inspired by that um, baby, and draw that one for you. So I hope you like this baby. So with this way this baby is drawn, I guess it could be unisex. It could kind of be a boy or girl, not necessarily a girl. So I know in the movie this baby is a girl. So, um, but you could easily this could easily be a boy too. <laughs> so right here. Two small circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom. 
and shade in the top. Sorry for all the noise, the background noise. It's always trash trucks and airplanes and motorcycles <laughs> going on around my house. It's so annoying when I have to make videos. So um, hope you don't mind it too much. I live next to a big street, so that's why I get all that noise. And so there. So now let's go in here and draw the lashes. So we we'll come up here and we're just gonna draw small angle lines that go all the way around the eye. So let's do the same thing over here. Two, let's see, how many did I do here? Six, so I'm gonna, four, five, six. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw these eyebrows way up high just to make it look really cute just a way of making it cuter so we're gonna draw a little curve right here and it's gonna slant down a little bit just to add to that cuteness and you come in here and thicken it up a little bit and finally let's draw that cute little smile so right here we're gonna draw kind of like a smirk smile slightly goes up Cap it off. <laughs> and I just kind of had to do this. I hope it works. So very, very lightly, right in the center right here, I'm gonna draw a little curve for the nose because babies have such cute little noses. So very lightly, just draw a little curve right there and under the mouth right here, just draw another cute um, little curve. So that just adds to the cuteness of everything. <laughs> cuteness overload, oh! <laughs> And so there, <laughs> sorry, got carried away. And so um, let's start to draw the body. So right here, I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down on both sides. So that's starting to be the shoulder and her hands are all um, just touching the ground, touching the floor. So we're gonna continue this curve. Let's do that same on the other side, make it easier. And come in here where her um, armpits would be and we're gonna come in here and draw another Curve. So notice it's getting wider as it comes down. So same thing on this side. It's wider right here. And so we're gonna, let's see, let's bring it down a little bit more. And then right here, I'm gonna bump it up, just a tiny little bump, and continue this one down. And so this little bump is just a little fold because her hand is kind of bent. So that's a little bump and we're gonna come out with the fingers. So let's draw the thumb. So I'm gonna go slowly, gonna draw one thumb, and then we're gonna to start to draw the fingers. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three. So yes, uh, there's only four fingers. <laughs> I mean, three fingers, because usually in cartoons, they just draw um, four fingers all together because five would make it look kind of too weird when it's a cartoon. So we're just gonna go for three fingers right here and bring in the line and then right here where we did that little bump come in and draw a curve so it just makes it look like the hand is a little bit folded so same thing let's do the same thing let's go down about right here where the thumb is bring it around so we're going to come about right here make that little bump come out once again one, two, and three. So then come in, just draw the lines and the curve. So there. And then um, finally, let's go up here. Well, let's connect it with the diaper, the bottom of a diaper. So we're gonna come in here and just draw a curve, connect the hands. <laughs> that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? <laughs> we're gonna come up here and draw another curve, the top of the diaper. And we're gonna come up here and just draw a little curve on both sides just to give some detail to the diaper. So it looks like it's all scrunched up. <laughs> some curved lines. And so then from there, let's pop out this little part right here. We're gonna draw a little curve on both sides. So that's part of the diaper. We're gonna bring it in. And then from there, let's draw the legs. We're gonna come out with a curve. 
Okay, let's work on this foot right here first. So we came over a curve, we're gonna draw the little foot right here. So it's the back of the foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come about right here. I'm gonna draw you at an angle just to make it easier. So this is for the foot. So it's at this angle. And then for the little toes, let's come in here and we're gonna come for the big toe, curve in one. And we're just gonna do three more. Curve it in, curve, and last one, curve. So you got little toes just by making these little curves, right? Pretty cool. And then right here, let's draw a little curve for the pad under the foot. And then let's connect it. So right here, we're just gonna draw a curve right here to connect it back. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so let's go on this side, same thing again. Curve it out, and once again, we're gonna draw that U. So, about right here, draw another U. Oops, this foot got a little bit wide. And we're gonna do the same thing, but the opposite way. So we're gonna come, one big toe, two, three, four. And right here, we're gonna draw a little curve once again for a little pad. And let's connect it to the body. You draw a little curve right there, just for the knee area. And um, I thought it'd be really cute if we added a little baby bottle to um, our baby. <laughs> you could add everything, anything you want, pacifiers and rattles, but right here I'm gonna draw a little bottle. So I'm gonna come up right here with the nipple part of the bottle. So I'm gonna just draw a nice round curve. Bring it out. Nothing complicated. Connect it. And then the part that connects it to the bottle, curve line the bottom. Connect it again. Then I'm going to come in here just to draw some details. One more. And let's bring our bottle. So I'm going to bring it down to where the foot is. That's how high our bottle is. So, Ooh, a little bit lopsided and connect it. There, <laughs> our lopsided baby bottle. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's draw a heart because I have to add hearts to everything. <laughs> and let's uh, maybe bring the milk level to about there. A little curve right there. And you could come in here for some details to draw those measuring lines if you want it, just to make it look more like a bottle. And then um, finally, let's anchor this baby to the floor. So I'm gonna come across here. And, ooh, okay, and draw a straight line, I hope, all the way across. Boop! So there, <laughs> my the baby from the, the Starks movie. I hope you like how this little baby came out and um, I'm so happy I finally got to draw a baby. I draw so cute baby. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.